Welcome to life. Soon you will be born to two wonderful folks. Want to see them now? Oh boy, okay, already we have decisions to make. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Growing Up, a life simulator game where this is the story of our life. We get to experience our entire life journey from toddler to adulthood, going to school, learning new things, making new friends, going on wild adventures, and each playthrough is completely different because you have new opportunities to meet new people, new events to happen, and all of the choices that you make will affect how your life turns out, including the very first choice of not knowing what our parents look like. Uh, looks like we're just a little seed bean right now. You know what? Surprise me. All right, you'll see them soon enough. They recently learned your gender. What do you think that is? Um, or your sex, I should say. Gender's a different concept. You know what? I kind of, I'm like, I didn't even think about that. I want to manipulate being a girl, maybe. That's right, you'll be a girl. Hey, look, they're writing a letter to you. <gasps> My parents are writing a letter to me? That's adorable. Dear child, we're so excited to welcome you to this world. There's so much we want to teach you, uh, uh, teach you about, like how to be tough, how to be compassionate. Oh my gosh, like already there's a whole bunch of choices that are going to influence what we're going to be like when we grow up. So I want to be compassionate. No man is an island and we hope you'll make lots of connections and extend your hand to those in need. We hope you'll grow big and healthy and also let's go with creative. We hope you'll always look outside the box, experiment, and remain curious. Gosh, I guess like we're already influencing what we're going to be when we grow up. We promise to do the best job we can as your parents. We'll be... Let's do understanding. We'll support you in any choices you make in every endeavor you take. Man, kind of nice to have nice parents. If you have trouble, you can always come to us. If you fall, we'll pick you up and put you back on track. When you succeed, we'll be there to congratulate you. We can't wait to finally meet you. We wonder what kind of person you'll become. That was really sweet. What a lovely letter. I wonder if you can get like mean parents. Let's not make them wait any longer. It's time for your big arrival. Yay! Welcome to growing up. You've just been born and your journey through life awaits. But first, time to choose a name for yourself. It's me! All right, it's Siri. As you continue to grow, oh, look at this. To grow in each turn, your goal will be to learn new skills. New Each skill requires you to have enough knowledge points in order to learn it. Okay, so we need knowledge points. As it happens, you have enough knowledge to learn your first skill. Crawling! Alright, so then we can go ahead and crawl. Got it. Perfect, you learned your first skill. It's time to practice what you've learned. You can practice your learned skills in the schedule. Okay, so you come over here and my schedule is crawling because that's about all I can do as a baby. Uh, I think how you look is completely random as well. So this time we turned out into like a white baby with blue eyes and red hair, but you can have this huge range of like options of how you look as you grow up. So crawling, enough of sitting around, time to explore. And if we do it maybe three times, I think we get more knowledge. Perfect. Oh, here's my schedule. Okay. You filled one of your schedule slots with the crawling skill. Practicing skills takes time and you won't always be successful at first, but the more you practice, the better you'll get. Oh, okay. So we want to fill up all of our slots for our schedule with crawling. I only have three slots probably because I'm a baby and I need to nap a lot. Now tap the button to end this turn and practice what you've learned. All right. So we're practicing crawling. Oh no, I flopped it. <laughs> I see. So, oh no, I'm really bad at crawling. <laughs> so there, here's like a big city that we probably were born into. And then it looks like every time you do an action, you have a chance of passing it or failing it. Oh, I did it. Congratulations. You mastered your first skill. Mastering skills rewards you with a large one-time bonus. All right. So that means we've got 80 knowledge. Excellent. What can I do with that knowledge? We'll find out. Oh, hey, it's my mom and dad. Apparently, they, they can look different each time, too. Come look, I think Siri's going to crawl. They both look like business people this time around, too. Uh, you know what? They want me to crawl, but I'm gonna roll. You're around in place. Ugh, an energetic child. Oh, cool! So then you just get little blurbs of, like, what your parents want you to do. So now I can do walking or talking. And, and, oh, in each turn! Okay, oh, look, I'm a year old now! 
and each turn you will get a little bit older. You can see your current age in your profile. Once you reach 18 years of age, you'll face a final exam, which will decide who you'll become. New skills are available for you to learn. Unfortunately, you do not have enough knowledge points for them to learn them just yet, so we can't talk or walk because that's 100 knowledge points. Each new skill is tied to one of five attributes. So the talking looks like it's tied to intelligence. The walking isn't tied to physique, is tied to physique. And then there's empathy, memory, and imagination as well. The lower the knowledge cost of a skill, to lower the knowledge cost of a skill, simply gain more of the attribute it's tied to. Okay, so if we're really intelligent, it's easier to talk. And if we're really good at physical stuff, it's easier to walk, got it. You can attain, you can gain more attributes by developing your very own mind. All right, so there's a brain map, what? Tap neurons to collect attributes. Each collection, each collected attribute will lower the knowledge cost of the skill tied to that attribute. Okay. Keep collecting attributes until you run out of brain points. So right now I have 80 brain points. It looks like intelligence is the only thing available at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna do some intelligence. And it looks like physique is next. We're gonna do a lot of intelligence. Um, and let's go this way. So these are my developing neurons. Okay, I should probably have a good balance of like knowledge. Okay, oh look now, oh, okay, okay. So I think I can afford both of these now for talking and walking, but I'm gonna work on intelligence a little bit. There we go, I spent all of my brain points on being really intelligent. You now have enough knowledge points to learn new skills. Sweet. Okay. Oh, there we go. New skill learned, talking. So we can choose our next skill. The early years are a time for exploration and discovery. Choose which skill you want to learn next in your next turn. So I have to pick one of these two. I can either try to get attention or I can build towers. All right. I want to try to build towers because that sounds really fun. And I have enough knowledge points to learn new skill. So we'll do this one. And so now I can play with parents or I can climb on the cabinets. I think I'll play with my parents. They seem pretty nice. You've done all you can this turn. Time to practice your new skills. So now you do the scheduling again and we need to fill all of the schedule slots. Um, I think, okay, we're gonna do a little bit of imagination or a little, like it looks like we get imagination and we get intelligence from scheduling. So now we'll start building our attributes as we go on. And if we do enough talking, I'm going to do a little bit of walking. All right. Ah, oh, dang it. We didn't get the talking. Yes. Okay. Oh, but we mastered it. Boom. Okay. So we did master talking, which is great. And that gave us some more attributes. And I flopped on the walking. However, we did gain some attribute points from that. Honey, quick. Siri is going to take their first steps. Uh, let's try to take a careful step. One careful step, then another, then you fall down. Oh, wow. Did we get that on camera? Ah, the camera. Yes. Maybe next time. My parents seem like they're very businessy people. Also, what is with living in a loft as a baby? This room is tripped out. Are we rich? Let's see. New skills available. Now I can work on playing with my parents or building towers. Got it. There's me. I'm a baby. Uh, let's see. There's my knowledge points. And so we need to work on the brain map in order to try to develop imagination or empathy. And I need more knowledge points. Let's see. Let's work on empathy for a minute. Ooh, and imagination. I like imagination. And there's some knowledge. Oh, so we can gain more knowledge that way too. All right. We need empathy and we need uh, creativity if I'm going to be able to go ahead and like learn how to build towers you have to kind of just pick okay there's imagination here's knowledge points knowledge points knowledge points imagination so now i can afford building towers but i don't know if i can afford oh there's playing with parents okay come on come on come on i don't think i can afford playing with parents okay i'm gonna go for more imagination as my last little bit all right so oh wait 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 let's go back and now i can afford building with towers got it all right so we're gonna add that and then I can do basic shapes for memory or I can oh I could go adventuring I'm so going adventuring that would be so cool so now I can do talking if I want to gain 
uh, more knowledge and more of the imagination, but we get more imagination from building towers. And then I think if we want to do like playing with my parents, I have to finish learning how to walk. So let's learn how to walk and build some towers. All right, come on, come on. Yes. All right, we mastered walking. Oh, my towers fell down. Yes, okay, and we mastered building towers. Sweet. How old am I now? The blocks are yours to play with. Oh, look, I have blocks in here now. The infinite choices stretch out before you. Oh, now, I, now it's an interaction where instead of with my parents, I can go ahead and build a castle. You build a castle large and impossible to break. Nice, um, what is that? Be supportive. Oh, sorry, that was dad. Be supportive, whatever it is. All right, so now we have the ability to go adventuring if we want. I'm two years old now. As you grow, you will change. From now on, your attributes will have a growing bonus. The growing bonus will increase your attributes every turn by the specified value. Got it. All right, so we're slowly but surely growing up. I'm really smart. Um, I don't have very good memory. I probably want to work on that. Tap hexes to gain large amounts of attribute points to increase the attributes growing ability. All right. So we want to try to like get these, these spots, I think, or what, did that say trap hexes? Huh? Increase memory by 15. Whoa. Okay. So that majorly helped out our memory. Uh, well, I really want my creativity to like grow, grow, grow and my imagination and maybe my empathy. So what about empathy here? Knowledge point here. I could majorly increase my intelligence, but it's already kind of up. All right, what if I get there? There we go. So imagination's through the roof, woo! All right, it costs a lot for intelligence to go up, but we're gonna do that too. And then let's get some empathy up. There we are. And now I can actually learn playing with parents or adventuring. Mm, I'm kind of independent. Let's go with like adventuring. So now we have a new skill learned. And we've already mastered building blocks and talking. Uh, we've already mastered walking, but I haven't unlocked playing with parents. Oh no. <laughs> and we could do adventuring. So I kind of want to do adventuring. I'm very independent as a baby. I've got things to do, like adventures to go on out of my way. My imagination's going to be, oh yeah, we mastered it. Your parents have left you alone. The fools. Uh, let's explore the yard. You venture out into the wild world. Who knows what you'll find? Is that our child out front with a skunk? Siri, come back here. Uh-oh. It's almost time for preschool. You will face new challenges. You will soon face new challenges. Until then, learn as much and learn and practice as much as you can. You can check your progress in the skill tree window. All right, so we can show our skill tree. Oh! So this way you can kind of see what the different skills are going to be. Um, I mastered walking, but I haven't unlocked playing with parents. And we have to unlock a whole bunch of other skills if we get lucky. I've already mastered adventuring, which is kind of nice. And we're getting ready for preschool. All right, we probably need to start learning how to play with our parents. Let's go to the brain map again. And playing with parents is an empathy thing. So let's play over here. I've been neglecting my empathy, but you know what? Boom! All right, so that does a huge chunk to our empathy. And now let's work on memory a little bit because our imagination is great, but I'm a little worried about our memory. So we're gonna give that like a little bit of a jump start. Um, maybe physique? Let's do physique a little bit. There we go. Wow, I can see how the infinite choices that you have can really start getting a little bit chaotic. <gasps> Play with animals or play with kids. I'm going for the animals. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. So if we unlock, it looks like if we go ahead. Oh my word. All right, so we need to, to complete playing with our parents and then we can play with animals. All right, yo, parents, get over here. Like, let's get this, let's get this done. I wanna be able to play with the animals. Uh, and then I'll work a little bit on building towers because I'm worried about my memory. All right, come on, parents. Come on, play with me properly. Yay, all right, we mastered playing with our parents and we already mastered building towers. So that was just kind of to help out. <gasps> I'm in preschool now. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're three and we're in preschool now. Mathematics counting to 10. <gasps> 
gardening basics for nature and literacy. Oh, look at all this. This is a great preschool. It's got all the colors. It's got plants everywhere. I like it. You are now going to preschool. You will spend your mornings here and go back home in the afternoon. From now on, you need to take care of your mental health. The more relaxed you are, the more skills you'll be able to schedule. However, if you overwork yourself, you won't be able to learn anything new and some of your schedule slots will be locked. Oh, that's really important. I like that balance. The harder the new skills will be, the bigger the effect they will have on you. Each scheduled skill will slightly lower your mental health. To raise your mental health, you will need to entertain yourself from time to time. You can learn new entertainment activities. Okay, so that will raise my mental health if I do that. All right, but it just gives me like plus one mental health. Uh, but let's try it out. Oh, I'm not very good at jigsaw puzzles. They made me a little annoyed, but it did give me plus one mental health and some intelligence. Each action costs action points, which re replenish at the beginning of each turn. Whoa! Okay, so we're slowly but surely growing up. I love this little place. Okay, so the only thing we can do for entertainment and our action points is jigsaw puzzles. Got it. And then our skills. Let's look at our skill tree. There's mathematics. Oh, look at how many skills there are now! <laughs> our baby skills. And then there's also like mathematics, nature. I totally want to get the nature skill. Let's see, there's physical skills, memory, imagination skills that we haven't unlocked yet. Uh, and then here's a skill tree for, I think this is for play. Oh, I get it. Okay, so if I was gonna unlock something, let's go to our brain map. And I really, really, you can look at like what skills you want to aim for. I want to be able to unlock this gardening basics. I'm going to plant a huge forest. Uh, and I think we can make it cheaper for ourselves if we get more empathy. And then I would like to do something with creativity, but I don't know what that is yet. So let's see, should I work on physique as well? It seems important. Let's do these two because that gives us a huge boost right there. And then I'm going to try to come down. Knowledge, knowledge, empathy. And now it, the gardening basics is a lot easier. Learning the alphabet would be really hard unless I had a lot more knowledge points. Knowledge points by 10. Can I get both of these? Let me think. So I could increase my empathy. Huh, okay, so that's good. That's cheaper now. So gardening basics. And I guess we could do mathematics. Hmm. Memory is really low. All right, I should probably start pulling my memory up a little bit. And then let's do basic mathematics. There we go. All right, so I think we're home now. We had a big day. Oh, we can watch cartoons at home. Oh, I didn't know. Look at my room. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a giraffe. That makes me so happy. Okay, so what can I schedule? You can now add discovered entertainment activities to your schedule. Make sure to keep your mental health above zero at all times. Otherwise, you'll face penalties. Okay, so we can do more jigsaw puzzles, which seem to frustrate me a little bit. Math makes me sad. Gardening ba basics pulls down. Uh, the happiness, the mental health a little bit, but you know what? We're going to do both of those. We're going to do three of those and then one jigsaw puzzle. All right. How's my gardening going? Oh no. Yay. All right. So gardening is going well and we'll continue to work on that. Okay, good. That's really raising our empathy up quite high. And now we did a jigsaw puzzle and it went well this time. <gasps> New skills available! Pet care basics and writing with numbers! At the end of preschool and every subsequent school year you go to, you'll have an exam. Each exam will test your knowledge, so make sure to learn as many skills as possible beforehand. Man, this isn't even like adding in when we start making friends and things like that or having to get jobs and go shopping. <laughs> so, oh man, I mean, we're only three and already we have so many choices around us. New event exam. Are you ready for school? The first exam of your life is coming soon. It will show you how you've spent your preschool years in two turns. 
You can see how well prepared you are and how many turns are left in the upcoming until the upcoming exam. Your exam readiness improves every time you learn or master a new skill. The higher your exam readiness, the more moves you'll be able to perform in the exam. Okay, got it. Each new location contains new actions to perform. Travel between locations by tapping on the photographs. Oh, so I can do different things like go on the slide if I'm outside or I can go inside to play with jigsaw puzzles. And I bet if you want to take care of the pets, oh, I need more knowledge points. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, guys, this is so much fun. I'm really tickled with how things are going. I love these kinds of overwhelming choices that as you make them, you watch the story just come to life in front of you. So we're going to continue to do our best to raise little Siri. Next time I might give her a new name uh, or him, whatever we end up having, <laughs> because every encounter in every life is completely different. And there's a lot of DLC available that starts folding itself in. So you have even more options, even more things that start happening. We haven't even started hanging out with people yet. This is exciting. So if you guys could do please leave a like for growing up. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys at preschool next time.